Pangloss is a production system for entity disambiguation on noisy text. It combines probabilistic key phrase identification with a similarity engine based on context-dependent document embeddings. This approach achieves better than state-of-the-art results, outperforming other research and commercially available systems on several entity linking benchmarks. Pangloss has been in production for over a year at Skipflag, performing entity linking on hundreds of millions of documents daily. Skipflag is a knowledge base that builds itself. It learns from your existing communication, support tickets, and other workplace content to automatically build an enterprise knowledge base. Skipflag responds to natural language questions in search or messaging with instant answers that are automatically tagged with relevant topics. Each of these topics is used to auto-organize your team's content around a specific entity like Amazon EC2 or Ubuntu. Since all content is tagged, Skipflag can easily organize it into a topic page or a topic directory. The directory for this team includes Linux, which is an enemy found in Wikipedia, as well as internal jargon, like reserved instances. We can see Pangloss disambiguate named entities in real time by adding a note to skip flag. As we type text, both internal and external topics are automatically added to our note as tags, each of which resolve to named entities in our system. Named entity disambiguation is the task of mapping ambiguous phrases in text, called surface forms, to canonical entities in a knowledge base like Wikipedia. Entity linking systems take into account the semantic context in which a phrase occurs to make a decision regarding each surface form. Annotating text in this way is useful for organizing content, extracting structured data from documents, and in machine learning applications like semantic search, knowledge graph construction, and question answering. Entity linking research often focuses on text from news articles or Wikipedia pages, which are grammatically correct and topically coherent. Traditional techniques struggle to obtain comparable performance on noisy text from messaging applications, resumes, or social media. Pangloss leverages a local embedded database with a tiered architecture to house its statistics and metadata. This allows rapid disambiguation in streaming contexts and on-device disambiguation in low memory environments such as mobile phones. As an input to the system, we compute representational embeddings of both knowledge base entries and surface form engrams side by side in the same vector space using terabytes of training data from Common Crawl, Wikipedia, and other sources. Workplace dialogue often interleaves multiple topics throughout a single conversation. Pangloss clusters embeddings for surface forms within these conversations at query time, producing multiple document centroids corresponding to distinct themes. This allows us to produce multiple similarity features and improve named entity disambiguation performance. Pangloss exhibits best of class performance on three entity linking benchmarks, showing an 8.6% improvement for MSNBC, a 7.6% increase for Acquaint, and a 15.4% improvement on workplace conversations. Compared to Stanford Core and LP, it has twice the entity linking throughput at an order of magnitude reduction in memory pressure. If you'd like to hear more, connect with us in person at KDD.